Welcome dear students to today's session of Summer for Max. Subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further notifications. Let's get started. In today's session we have the problem find the LCM of each pair of the following polynomials whose GCD is given. Here the polynomials are given to be a squared plus 4a minus 12 and a squared minus 5a plus 6 whose GCD is a minus 2. Let us consider f of x as a squared plus 4a minus 12 which can be factorized as a plus 6 into a minus 2. And g of x is equal to a square minus 5a plus 6 which can be factorized as a minus 3 into a minus 2. GCD of these polynomials is given to be a minus 2. We know that f of x into g of x is equal to LCM into GCD. From which we can get that LCM is equal to f of x into g of x by GCD. Here f of x is a plus 6 into a minus 2. And g of x is equal to a minus 3 into a minus 2. And gcd is a minus 2. Here a minus 2 gets cancelled. And we have the LCM as a plus 6 into a minus 3 into a minus 2. we get the LCM of the following polynomials. Here we have the next problem. Find the GCD of the given pair of following polynomials and whose LCM is given. Now let us consider f of x as 12 into x to the power of 4 minus x cube which can be factorized as 12 into x cube into x minus 1. g of x is equal to 8 into x to the power of 4 minus 3 x cube plus 2 x square. Here also we have x square as a common factor which can be brought out. So 8 x square into x square minus 3 x plus 2 which can be further factorized as 8x squared into x minus 2 into x minus 1. The LCM of these two polynomials is given to be 24x cube into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Here LCM into GCD is equal to f of x into g of x from which we can infer the GCD. So GCD is equal to f of x into g of x by LCM. f of x is equal to 12x cube into x minus 1. g of x is 8x squared into x squared minus 3x plus 2. By LCM is 24x cube into x minus 1 into x minus 2.
after simplification we get 4x squared into x minus 1. Sorry, it's not x cube over here, it's x squared. So we get 4x squared into x minus 1. This is our GCD for the given polynomials. So that's for today's session. Here we have two problems for homework. Try it out. Find the GCD of the given pair of polynomials whose LCM is given. And the second sum is find the LCM of each pair of the following polynomials whose GCD is given. Hope the session was interesting. Thank you.